greetings and felicitations. Okay, the first round. Boom. <laughs> and oh, geez, that was just boom. unnecessary. You kidding me? You can't be out of range. Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. You're all the Appian Way here. We've got a battle replay to show you, submitted to me by Topher and Rico, two regulars on my channel. You know them by now. If you don't, how dare you? Uh, this is my first time seeing it, so let's just get right on into it, see what's going on. Oh, I've got to immediately pause this. I have to immediately pause this because uh, we've got... We've got an ambush that got foiled. It looks like we're playing historical mode. Yes, we are. Historical mode... We've got Ithaca versus Ethiopia. I like the matchup for both sides. And oh my giddy aunt. It starts mixed in. They forward deployed into each other. Look at this. Uh, this is two warriors of Ithaca, an ambusher, and the hero is an exemplary ambusher. And they are right on top of some Ethiopian javelin men. Holy cow. The Ethiopian javelin men. One, two, three units of Ethiopian javelin men. However, I think... Overall, I think overall Ethiopia is in a better position. It's possible if if the reaction from the Ethiopian player here is to just immediately move everything in this direction, we could quick KO two Warriors of Ithaca, and that means and Ithaca's job right now is going to be to try and just get down this way as quickly as possible before Ethiopia can get over here. Okay, I'm okay. All right, all right. Let's let's uh, let's just get into this. Let's see let's see what we have overall. Um, the rest of the Ethiopian lineup has two more Ethiopian javelin men, that for five Ethiopian javelin men total. We've got a pair of uh, Noctua infantry, a pair of shirted warriors, very expensive medium infantry. Uh, and we've got a fighter ravager hero who is also a shirted warrior. Three shirted warriors, historical mode, only possible in historical mode. Uh, three urgent staff bearers as well. Ithaca, something you might be a little bit more familiar with, so it's a grand total of four warriors of Ithaca. Four renowned island skirmishers, which are like Diet Coke versions of the Warriors of Ithaca. They really are. And four spear runners. Now, let's talk a little bit about these Ethiopian units. These, if you've seen my channel coverage of Ethiopian javelin men, these guys are really good. They are so good. And they also look fantastic. I mean, just look at this unit. I love the, the fur pelts and, and the, the, the shield is just gorgeous. Anyway, they're about to get nuked, so those guys don't don't count them in here too long. The Noctuas uh, infantry, this is one of the heavier options for, for Ethiopia. These Egyptian spearmen have the option to, or, or medium infantry, and they also have this cool ability. They put their shields on their back, and they put away their spear to draw a two-handed axe, which is actually a really cool... Uh, really cool uh, system, I, I, I feel. And then over here, this is their their medium elite sword infantry, the Sheridan Warriors. Freaking fantastic units. I love this. Okay, and yeah, that's three Sheridan Warriors led by this uh, fighter ravager hero. Okay, I think that's enough talking. Let's just get into it. The other unit I didn't really talk about too much is the Urgent Staff Bear. Light infantry, two-handed clubs. Uh, really kind of straightforward unit. Low armor, decent speed though. They're a pretty cool unit. Okay, so sure enough, uh, your hero is under attack. They, they tried swapping out so that the the warriors mythic could get into the javelin first. It looks like this Ethiopian javelin is just going to go ahead and take the charge. No, he changed his mind. He doesn't want to stay there. I thought he was just going to sacrifice that javelin man so he can get other javelins into the uh, warriors of Ithaca. But yeah, like I said, all of those units immediately moved out this way. And there are some more Warriors of Ithaca coming to intercept. I think he's going to try and send some of his uh, some of his Sheridan Warriors to intercept the Warriors of Ithaca. Not a bad plan. He's going to leave this one out here, though, to attack that one. He's got Noctua into this Warrior of Ithaca. And they're actually winning. Look at this. I wouldn't have expected Noctua Infantry to beat Warriors of Ithaca. But it's a really one-sided fight. I'm very impressed by that display. And over here, yeah, with the support of a Sheridan Warrior, that knocked a lot of infantry. It's going to intercept the Spear Runner. Here comes the Renowned Island Skirmisher, so they could absolutely devastate this. Oh, here comes the Spear Runners. Yeah, they're going to charge in, remove the Ethiopian Javelin men from the equation completely. This is going really, really well. But here comes the Urjet Staff Bearers. One of them is already rear charged this Warrior of Ithaca and is supporting 
the uh, the Shirden Warrior hey, Fighter Ravager hero. The enemy hero. Whoa, but he's dead. That came at a very unfortunate time. He did activate Terrify just in time. Could he? Could he terrify out this Warrior Mythica with a rear charge here? I think he might. Yep, he broke him. They're routing. Oh, but those spear runners are running roughshod now. The, this knock two off did eventually route, but they got the other. Oh, they routed the Shorten Warrior too. The Warriors Vithika did win the engagement out here on the left. Okay. So even with the dead hero though, he's act he's still able to activate abilities. I wasn't expecting that because he's able to activate uh, Vanquish here. Oh man, Urchid Staff Bear is chasing spear runners. There's still, uh, you know, that is still a Shurden Warrior, so there's still a very good unit, but the balance of power is firmly in in Ithaca's favor, and I don't really see a way that the beleaguered infantry of Ethiopia can win this. Especially, look at this, this spear runner out here has chased these two Ethiopia javelinmen to the bitter end of the map. Two of them are shattered. We've got, this one just regrouped, but... Honestly, this is a real, real problem for Ethiopia. They need those um, Ethiopian javelinmen if they're going to win this battle. Because look out here. Now is the part where the renowned island skirmishers get to prove their value. Yes, One they are javelinmen, no but they are also ammunition. really good swordsmen. Look at that sword damage with the bonus versus spears. It's insane. Their melee defense is garbo right now, but their melee attack is still decent. Okay, it's 44 when it's working out just fine. But this, yeah... These Shurden Warriors are getting tied up and eliminated. The very reliable unit, Warriors of Ithaca. I still believe the Warriors of Ithaca to be the best unit in the game. Oh, yeah, there goes the Shurden Warriors, and now they're just going to get eat a whole bunch of javelins for their troubles retreating. War crimes here. We're witnessing war crimes. They are running away, and they still shoot. Mm, 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 mm. Poor Shurden Warriors. They have silly hats, but hey, they're dead. Urjet Staff Bear is out here. They're getting the business now from uh, from the Javelin Men in melee and from the Javelin Men at range. Yeah. They, they held out a very long time. Valiant effort. That's it. Game over. Good job, Ithaca. Holy cow. Let's take a look at the statistics here. So yeah, Johnny Rico playing as Ethiopia got handled by Topher's um, Ithacan counter ambush strategies here. Uh, even with Ethiopia playing the battle, the strategy that I suggested at the very beginning, it still wasn't enough. I was very impressed by the by the uh, the Noctua infantry in their one on one against the Warriors of Ithaca, but it wasn't able to hold up for long. And it must have been because of support from another unit, because they did not earn very many value, very much value. Let's see here. Uh, we did get quadruple digits out of the out of the fighter ravager as a Sheridan warrior. 892, 439 just doesn't cut it. And unfortunately, you want it's it's not uncommon for Ethiopian javelin men to make almost double their value, and that just didn't happen this time because of the speedy use of spear runners and let's see who our mvp actually is it might actually be a spear runner with 1261 the warriors of ithaca didn't pay for themselves so again a poor trade-off for both the noctua and the warriors of ithaca i'd be really interested to see how noctua trade with warriors of ithaca i might actually run a test our mvp is going to be this uh, spear runner with 103 kills they, they they just had an instant impact on the battle when they arrived they split the Ethiopian line because they were already divided at the start and then just chased out all of those javelin men. Really, really, really good display uh, from, from Topher. Well played, good sirs. All right, I'm going to go ahead, pause this real quick, and I'm going to come back with a test. I want to see how worries if they could do one-on-one -on -one against Noctua, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got here in historical mode a uh, fighter vanquisher for both sides. I'm going to be running the Noctua, and I'm playing against the AI as a Warrior Vithica. Let's just go ahead and let this start. Now, here's the thing about fighting Ithaca. You always have to go find Ithaca. Let's go ahead and put these guys into... Don't attack. Okay, I should have some kind of... I'm very confused. I thought this unit could put its shield on its back. Anyway, the test is showing almost exactly what I thought. That they trade about evenly. 
I'm using my abilities because the AI is using his abilities. I'm trying to be fair about it. But it looks like this is over with myself the victor. Yeah. Um, I'm confused, though, because I could have sworn that Noctua could put their shields on their back. Right? Is that something that's not available for... For the hero unit? Let's do let's do this test another way. I'm gonna grab another not to ah. Right? Yeah, to this unit can swap. And let's add a Warrior Vithica. So the price difference here, by the way, Warrior Vithica at 1030, Noctua with 1140, however. Okay, so there is a significant difference there. Let's do this again. Testing this out. Warriors of Ithaca continue to be one of the best value units in the game, just easily. Yeah, so the hero cannot swap its weapons. That's really unfortunate. Speed this up a bit. So we have javelins just like they do, but I have a better charge bonus, so I want to get into them as soon as I can. Here we go. So yeah, with the charge bonus here, boom. Get my other hero in here. I got there. Your hero is under attack. The best way to test this is going to be with another player, obviously. But who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll win this. The balance of power is in my favor. I did do a ton of damage to that fire thing for sure. I mean, an absolute boatload of damage was done, but that's going to be it. For Hades this has killed the off. enemy hero. Oh, we killed their hero though. Maybe they'll route first. They did! Holy cow! I wasn't expecting them to, to hold out. What's the total morale on these units? Wow, it's, it's in the 70s right now. I might have much more morale than... Okay, they're routing too. I don't know, I don't know. I, 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 are these results conclusive? Are the are the Noctua a good answer for Warriors of Ithaca? Am I just blowing steam out my butt? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. We won. Interesting. Very interesting. So, two very different units. One of them is a spear infantry with a, with an axe charge option. The other one is, you know, the vanguard deploying, stalking, javelin chucking, world class warriors of Ithaca. Not too lot. Are more expensive. You would hope that they would win more battles. However, the Warriors of Ithaca are known for punching above their above their price line. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'd be interested to see what your what your takes are. The Warriors of Ithaca managing 571, 629, Noctua managing 1034. That's the price of a Warrior of Ithaca. And 629. Man, I just don't know. I just don't know. Interesting. Anyway, that's it for me today. Ta-ta. I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next video.